What's up guys, welcome to another edition of UCBP Reacts. Today I'm joined by Isaac Diaz, and today we're looking at Resident Evil 4 gameplay trailer. The remake has just come out, and we put up, we put up a short talking about the five things that we love about it, but we haven't even reacted to the extended gameplay. So Isaac, one of the greatest games to ever come out wow. when we were kids, this game was absolutely incredible um huge piece in our lives right i remember yeah. coming out and we ran to those store shelves um and we couldn't stop talking about it right came out on the gamecube originally i believe in 2004 or yeah, five yeah. um and absolutely a, a brilliant game so the remake is coming out march 24th uh 2023 and take a look the take a look at the gameplay trader are you ready yeah i'm ready man here we go Oh, snap. And you haven't seen this, right? No, I haven't seen it. How far can you have gone? Beautiful, beautiful voiceover. Man, the graphics just look absolutely incredible. And so that's a new mechanic. They're crouching, as you can mm -hmm, see. Mm -hmm. Leon look fresh, man. Yeah, oh, come on, forget about it. I love it. This looks like it's the first door where you go. Anyone home? Um, who, into that first part where you see that zombie. Leon? Um, I believe. Uh oh. So Matthew Mercer is the um the voice of Leon Kennedy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Matthew I'm Mercer. already feeling the the scary goosebumps. Yeah. Oh yeah. It feels a lot more tense, a lot scarier. Yeah. Ooh, beautiful little noises. Bats. Love that. Those little details. There he goes. He's opening up that, that curtain there. Oh, that's one of the cops that uh took you um to the mission, actually. So it's, it's kind of changing from the actual the original game, because mm -hmm. in the original game, um it's not really like that. So they added that 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 new kind of Yeah, scene. it seems more of a horror. Um, horror themed instead of a, like a action game so now you can finally move and uh, aim your gun which is oh, a beautiful gosh, look at that uh oh snap oh man Matalo. that looks nasty Woo. that's fantastic Oof. run out of there and so look this is a new element that you can stealthily uh, crawl to uh, your enemies to like evade them right, or even right, kill right. them from behind. I like this, man. There's new things being added into the story. Oh, yeah. Bruce, this is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel and now, instead of uh, the codec, it's Something's it's a transition between videos. My escorts are. Oh snap! What in the? Gotta go. Talk later. Te voy a matar. Yup, yup. What else to do, Basil? <laughs> also, here it is, the iconic scene oh, coming yeah. into the church tower. This is the ambush, man. Right. And so there you see one of the uh, um, cops getting burned. Shit. Oh, snap. I think before it was both of them, actually. Let's burned. go, baby. Look at them. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful gameplay here. It looks a lot more tense. Wow. There it goes. There it goes. Agáralo. Looks like some of the same moves as before. Now check this out. There we go. That's a beautiful Ooh, touch. Raging to bull attack. Later. Beautiful touch to the game. Amazing. So here he goes over the fence again. Kind of and does the same cutscene. Yep. Change same it up a bit, you know. Because mm -hmm. I think he pushes the bookshelf. And now we see Dr. Salvador coming in. Oh, he's cutting down the door, which is a new feature. Mm -hmm. That was not in the, uh, the older game. No, not in the original. Okay, okay. So now for those 
Resident Evil 4 fans, you know that if you go to the left there, that's where you gotta go for this part. Oh, there he got dead. And so now look, they could hold you while Dr. Salvador can crush you. Oh, snap. That's called an Ippon Sanagi right over, yep. So they shot him like double team. Yep. Amazing, man. Amazing. Oh, my oh. goodness. Right, right in the throat. So here he's running. And now, so, if let's say if you're on top of this ledge, Dr. Salvador can actually bring you down. And he cuts that. When he cuts that down, he could actually bring you down. Really? From doing that. Yep. Oh, Ooh, nasty. There we go. Gears of War. Yep, <laughs> yep. Gears of War, baby. Whoa. Amazing, amazing. What did you think, Isaac? I know it's your first time seeing it. Um, wow. Uh, amazing, amazing graphics. And I'll tell you one thing. I remember when this came out for GameCube, maybe people don't know this story about you. That was the first console you owned. It was a that GameCube. That was, yeah. And, um, yeah, I think I had a Sega Genesis before that years ago, right. but um, but mm -hmm. then I, I didn't own it anymore. And then, um, yeah, but my very first one, um, the Nintendo GameCube. Right. Why? Because uh, my stepdad, he was like, he so he was supposed to get me a PlayStation Two. And for all those, um, and people have heard me tell this story on this on this channel before, but um, for those of you with Hispanic parents, mm -hmm. know that everything, every console is called a what? A Nintendo. Un Nintendo. Right. So of course my stepdad goes into a game store and he's like, "Hey, I'm telling him I want a PlayStation 2." And so he goes, um, "You know, eh, dame un Nintendo, el Nintendo ese." <laughs> and so when he comes back home, you know, and of course these mama pop shops don't have, um, yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, refunds Seriously. and stuff. So you know, we go back and he's like, uh, "Yo, I got you the console. I'm excited. Everything's amazing." Uh -huh. I pull out this purple <laughs> lunchbox. <laughs> Yo, for real, bro. For real. <laughs> Purple lunchbox. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. And, Your pops and he told me, okay, okay. I, I, I told him I wanted a Nintendo. <laughs> and so that's what he got. He got the Nintendo GameCube. But you know yeah. what? What a fantastic yeah. console. And it was only for console. GameCube at that time. Um, so it was only for GameCube. I think it was a two-year exclusivity deal mm -hmm. with Nintendo, um, and then it came out for the PlayStation Two. Yeah. So even watching this man trailer brings a little bit of that nostalgic uh, feel of like, dang man, that's I was a little kid when this thing came out. Um, I love, the, of course, yeah, the special perks now that they're making. Like you just said, you could just shoot yeah. that that fire lamp on top and turn. Uh, Amazing. The yeah, tile. one of the best mechanics right. that it's you know like. It was over the show. It really revolutionized the third person over the shoulder. Oh, yeah. That's where Gears, I mean, Gears of War perfected it. Mm -hmm. But really the movement of Resident Evil, um, going from the the fixed lens cameras yeah. all the way yeah. till, to the over the shoulder, I mean, yeah. phenomenal. And I love that you can finally move yeah. when you're shooting. Well, and this know? game is so amazing. It came out for GameCube, then it was remade for PlayStation 2. Yeah. And that was years oh, yeah. down the line. Yeah. It still holds Yeah, that. I think it was like two years or something like yeah. that. It was like two years. And mm -hmm. then, I mean, forget about it. It came out on every single console known to man. Right. I think you could play that thing on a calculator <laughs> at this point. <laughs> nah, but Nah, but. It's, it's come out on everything. For me I mean, personally. I'm, it even come out for VR. Nah, I have it for VR. Hold on. But for the Oculus. What systems is it going to be for? Okay. So, it's confirmed that it's on Steam PC. Okay. PlayStation 4. Okay. PlayStation 5. And only on Xbox Series S and X. Really? So no Xbox One. And yeah, Nintendo no Xbox Switch One. is not picking it up. No, Switch <sighs> is not picking it up. No. Nintendo, you're letting no. us down, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure why. I mean, that's up to Capcom. That's right, up to the publisher. Right, right. So I don't think it was Nintendo's call. Nintendo probably would love it. But I think the graphical fidelity of um, the game probably won't allow it. Man, I'm looking forward what to I'm just assuming. being able to move an aim, man. That's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I felt oh, was yeah. always missing of that game. Thank God they put that little. Uh, that I little, know. Yeah. Know. I felt like it slowed the game down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, I felt like they were trying to still call back to the old Resident Evils mm -hmm. where, you know, you aim and shoot mm -hmm. like this by staying still. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really not practical. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad they, they changed that. I mean, Metal Gear was like that. You know, Metal yeah. Gear Solid, the first, second one was like that. Um, and I'm impressed. You know, I. I, I I personally yeah, like those, those two features that they're putting into the game, and I think it's going to be definitely a fun game to play, yeah. man. Especially in that part of the the game where you're you're being melee, of course, by everybody I've, and their mama. 
yeah, it's it's gonna be pretty wild. I cannot wait till it comes out March twenty fourth. If you can catch right. that game, Resident Evil Four, the remake, not a remaster, a remake. So all these years we've been getting remasters for the PlayStation Two, Xbox three sixty, PS three, the Wii, the Wii U. Like we've gotten it for every single system. Mm. Uh, from the GameCube to now, um, this is the first time that they're remaking it. They're remaking the game from the ground up. Mm -hmm. it seems like they're changing some story things up. Um, so I'm happy to see the direction that they're going. Uh, tell us what you think. Comment, subscribe uh, to our channel so you can get more of these reactions. Uh, I'm joined here always by Isaac Diaz, and we'll see you next time. Peace.